Hi sir, welcome to the 18th Amendment Bar. How you going brother? Can I have a whiskey please? Absolutely sir, would you like a Kentucky whiskey? A Tennessee whiskey? An Irish whiskey? A Scotch whiskey? An Australian whiskey? A Japanese whiskey? <sighs> Scotch whiskey? Would you like a blended whiskey? A blended malt? Or a single malt? <sighs> single malt? That's a great choice. Would you like something light and floral, bold and sweet, or peated? For sake, light and floral. Light and floral is a great choice. So I guess the next thing I need to ask is what's your budget? Because whiskeys can go anywhere from 10 to $500 a shot. And some bartenders might think it's okay if, to suggest something that's around the $80, $70 mark. However, that might not be right for you. So make sure that you tell the bartender what your price point is. Mate. I don't bloody know, 13 bucks. For that price, I would suggest the Glenfettig 12 year old. How would you like that? <laughs> well, neat, on the rocks, block ice, water, or with the mixer. What do you mean, how can I have it? I don't get what you're talking about. Well, neat means by itself in the glass. On the rocks means with ice. However, I like to serve it with ice on the side so you could add as many cubes as you like to your whiskey. Block ice means you get your whiskey with a huge block of ice. It's really great because it chills down your drink but doesn't over dilute. By adding just a touch of water to your whiskey actually opens up the flavor of it. And you can add as much water as you like. And last but not least, if you want to use a mixer, whether it be Coke, ginger beer or whatever, drink it the way that you want to drink it, okay? Do not worry about what a pretentious bartender will say to you. You're the one spending the money. It's all about drinking, having fun, enjoy it, See you again soon on Let's Talk Drinks.